Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you five mistakes you may be making in your home when it comes to organizing. So let's get started. Okay, friends, mistake number one is buying before you plan. So many times I see where we will go out and we will buy the bins and the canisters and all of these beautiful organizing items and we're trying to make it fit our needs. But if you plan out what you need and then make a shopping list and then go out and try to find those items, you have so much more success with your organization. Because when you're organizing, you want to make sure that the bins and the baskets and all the things that we're getting really fit and benefit us in our day-to-day -day routines. So a perfect example is when I shared my pantry the week before last, I told you that I wasn't finished organizing my canned goods because I needed the bins for that. I knew exactly the type of bin I needed and how many I needed, but it was about going out and shopping those, but I knew what I needed. I wasn't trying to make a bin fit. Friends, tip number two is thinking that clean is organized. Don't get me wrong, cleaning and organization go hand in hand. They are partners. But just because you have a clean house, it does not mean that you have an organized house. We all have that friend or that family member that they have a lot of clutter in their house or it may be a total disaster, but you will still eat at their house and you still feel comfortable going to their house because they are clean. And so even if you go through your home and give it the white glove treatment, that doesn't mean that it functions and it has all of the systems in place that really reduce your stress, that really saves you time, and that saves you money. Now the difference between cleaning and organization is that organization is a very personal and emotional thing. It is about managing all of your stuff and creating systems, whereas cleaning is more routine. And friends, tip number three is having just in case syndrome. Holding on to things just because it may or may not be something you need in the future. And friends, it can be a combination of things. It can be magazines, it can be those wooden spoons, having 20 of them. Why do we have 20 wooden spoons when we only use the same two? But it's important to really pare down to what your current lifestyle needs and you use because anything else is really causing you daily stress when the reality is, if you release yourself from all of those things that are causing you stress and say in the rare occasion that you need it again, you really can just go out and get another wooden spoon, but you don't have to live in it every day. So mistake number four is buying the wrong size containers and bins, either too large or too small. And what that does is that again, causes us not to really be organized. So it's important again, to go back to tip number one, to plan so that you make sure that the organizational solutions you choose are going to work. Because if you jam pack a basket, that's not function. And if you have too little, that's not function. And then tip number five is utilizing Pinterest as our plan instead of using it as our inspiration. You know, Pinterest is wonderful. It gives you so much inspiration, but when here's where it becomes a mistake. It's when you look at that beautiful pantry and then you say, okay, I'm going to recreate that. You really, with organization, that is just not the way to go because we all have different needs. We all have different routines. And so if you try to recreate something that you see on Pinterest, it may look good, but it's not going to function and organization has to function. So what I encourage you to do is definitely go to Pinterest for your inspiration. And if you see that pantry you love and you like the vibe and the colors, implement that with the function that you need, but only use it as an inspiration. So friends, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button along with the bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a video. Also, go definitely check me out on my other channel at Work With Nikki, where I share things all work-related as far as organization. I share with you my mobile office and I share with you home work-from-home tips and office tips, entrepreneurial tips, and just we have 
a lot of fun over there on that channel. So definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description box below, but I would love to have you as a part of the At Work With Nikki family. So definitely come check me out. Also, if you missed the videos that I posted this week so far, such as my Easter and Spring Tablescape or my coffee bar tour, Definitely check that out. I'll link all the videos that I've posted so far this week and definitely go check it out. And friends, if you enjoyed this video, please do not leave without clicking that like button. It really helps me out. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at tomorrow's video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.